All right, so in this problem, I have 8 to the power of x is equal to 80. So I'm going to first start by rewriting 80 as 8 times 10. So now I have 8 to the power of x is equal to 8 times 10. And now I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 8. So then these two cancel out, and I get 8 to the power of x over 8 is equal to 10. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So a to the power of x over 8, well, 8 is the same thing as a to the power of 1. So I get a to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 10. Now, 8 I can rewrite as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 10. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x minus 1, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 3 times x minus 1. And I can simply distribute the 3, so I have 3 times x minus, or sorry, plus 3 times negative 1. So 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. So I have 2 to the power of 3x minus 3 is equal to 10. Now I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I'll get log of 2 to the power of 3x minus 3 is equal to log of 10. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this can equal b times log a. So in this case, b is 3x minus 3. So if I move this to the front, I get 3x minus 3 times log 2 is equal to log 10. Now, log 10, that's actually equal to 1. So now I have 3x minus 3 times log 2 is equal to 1. Now, if I divide both sides by log 2, these two cancel out. And I get 3x minus 3 is equal to 1 over log 2. Now if I add both sides by log 3, these two cancel out. So I get 3x is equal to 1 over log 2 plus 3. And 1 over log 2, that's the same thing as 1 over 0 0.301 plus 3, which is equal to 3.3223 plus 3, so I have 3x is equal to 6.3223, meaning x is equal to 2.1074. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x plus 8 to the power of x equals 68. So I'm going to first rewrite 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x is equal to 68. And I can actually switch these two. So I get 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x to the power of 3 is equal to 68. Now I'm going to let... 2 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So now I have y plus y to the power of 3 minus 68 is equal to 0. And this is the same thing as y to the power of 3 plus, I'm going to write y as 17y minus 16y minus 68 is equal to 0. And now I get y to the power of 3 minus 16y plus 17y minus 68 is equal to 0. So I simply, I simply switch the places of 17y and negative 16y. And now from y to the power of 3 minus 16y, I'm going to factor out y. So I get y times y squared minus 16 plus from 17, or sorry, from 17y minus 60, I'm going to factor out 17. So I get 17 times y minus 4 is equal to 0. And this is the same thing as y times y plus 4 times y minus 4. That's equal to y squared minus 16 plus 17 times y minus 4 is equal to 0. Now if I factor out y minus 4, I get y minus 4 times y times y plus 4 plus
plus 17 is equal to 0. And this is equal to y minus 4 times y squared plus 4y plus 17 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I get y minus 4 is equal to 0 and y squared plus 4y plus 17 is equal to 0. So for y minus 4 equals 0, y is obviously equal to 4, so I get one solution. And from y squared plus 4y plus 17 equals 0, you have to use the quadratic formula to solve this. And if you actually do end up using the quadratic formula, I'm not going to do it because it's a waste of time, but you get that there is no solution but you get the, because you get the square root of a negative number and you can't take the square root of a negative number. So y equals 4 is my only solution for y. And now remember how we let 2 to the power of x equal to y. So now if I have 2 to the power of x is equal to y and y is 4, that means I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 4. And 2 to the power of what number equals 4? 2, right? So I get x is equal to 2. And this is my solution to this problem. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x plus y minus 2 to the power of x is equal to 120. So obviously, I want to find the values of both x, sorry, both x and y for this. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by using the property of exponents that states that a to the power of m plus n this is the same thing as a to the power of m times a to the power of n. Meaning, 2 to the power of x plus y, I can rewrite this as 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of y. And I have this minus 2 to the power of x is equal to 120. Now, I'm going to go ahead and factor out 2 to the power of x from this equation, from my left-hand side. So now I have 2 to the power of x times, now 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of y divided by 2 to the power of x, simply just 2 to the power of y, and negative 2 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x is negative 1. So this is equal to 120. Now, 120, this is the same thing as... eight times 15. And notice how two to the power of x, this is gonna result in an even number because two to the power of any number is gonna be even. And two to the power of y minus one, well an even number minus one is gonna be an odd number. Two to the power of y is gonna be an even number and an even number minus one is odd number. So this is even, this is odd. And notice how eight, this is even, and 15, this is odd. So I have an even number times an odd number is equal to an even number times an odd number. So this means that both the even numbers are equal to each other. So 2 to the power of x is equal to 8. And both the odd numbers are equal to each other. So 2 to the power of y minus 1 is equal to 15. So let's first start by solving 2 to the power of x equals 8. So 8, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 3. And this means that x is equal to 3. Now for 2 to the power of y minus 1, I can add 1 on both sides. So I get 2 to the power of y equals 16. 16 is 2 to the power of 4. So I have 2 to the power of y is equal to 2 to the power of 4. So this means that y equals 4. So my value of x is 3 and my value of y is 4.